Good morning, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a solar eruption update Monday, June 13th, around 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time 2022. A massive M3.4 solar flare of long duration shooting off of the limb here. As it, the sunspot active region 3030 turns towards Earth facing, we had a major long duration eruption measuring M3.4. It was detected around AR 3030, as I said, and the newly assigned region, active region 3032. It began approximately 3 o'clock UTC on June 13th, and the event generated a noteworthy coronal mass ejection, one of the largest CMEs potentially facing Earth of this cycle. And it appears to be headed mostly to the east and away from the Earth, but on many of the models, there will be some effects because most of the plasma will clip Earth. That is the yellow ball right there. Albeit it will be minor because of the size of this eruption, and we can see it here on the WSA Enlil solar wind emanating just there. And you can see the size and thickness of, of that plasma that's going to be just clipping Earth. And the impact is uh, uh, the evening of the 14th into the morning of the 15th. So that will be... Wednesday night to Thursday morning and we see a massive spike here in the WSA in density and velocity so we should see some minor effects especially because KP has gotten up to KP5 with very little G <laughs> with very little solar activity uh, we could see a geomagnetic storm with this on Thursday so we're going to keep a close eye on this massive eruption as we walk it through for you here we are at Cor uh, C2 Lasco C2 at the Soho Movie Maker in 512, that's the resolution, and I just put the dates in and I generate the video. So we could just play the video, and there is that CME. And it, you can see it happens at three o'clock UTC on the 13th. So it's gonna take a little while to cycle through here. And then right when we get to three o'clock, I'll stop it and we'll walk it through the actual coronal mass ejection here. So you could just step it through here. You could see right at about 324, 36, it starts coming off. And look at the amount of that plasma. Pretty fantastic. Now remember, this is the size of the sun. So the plasma ejection is one, two, four, five solar diameters wide, blasting out into space. Huge amounts of material there. Look at that. And we also have the C3 view. So here's Lasco C3. And on C3, you can see a slight halo to the eruption. You can see the top of this plasma wraps all the way around. I don't know if you guys can see that up top there. So clearly this is a subhalo eruption with very minor plasma that will be hitting Earth. Almost not visible, but on the just on the grand scale of this coronal mass ejection, it is ginormous. One of the biggest ones I've actually imaged here that's not really going to affect us. So pretty fantastic coronal mass ejection coming from the sun once again. We're not here to scare you. We're here to prepare you. A long duration eruption measuring M3.4 was detected around AR3030 today at 3 o'clock UTC, and it is barely headed our way. It is headed in our neighborhood. There will be a glancing blow Wednesday night, Thursday morning. And so we'll keep a close eye on that for you as all models suggest that there will be a density spike and a plasma spike here and a velocity spike all on the morning of the 15th. Now the current three-day geomagnetic forecast has not been updated as is typical of these uh, money funding corporations like NASA and NOAA. They really don't have uh, any reason to get you, us this information rapidly because they want to hold on to what they have. Now, here's a current look at our sun. It is looking quite bleak, even though we're at approaching solar maximum here. The, the sun spots are pinpricks, and this is the region AR3030 where that uh, flare came from. So we have a few more days, three more days until this is directly facing us, and then, well, it could be boom time as we'll be waiting for more flaring coming from AR 3030 and 3032 as the days progress. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When the sun is getting active and it's solar max and while well, there is nary a spot on the disc, where is that shot?
There it is. There's the latest shot of the sun. And we're keeping a close eye on it for you. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't and share this with like-minded people and be safe. And that's a boom to knowledge. Mm.